what's the you wrote an article also about anti-male bias in contemporary academia mm -hmm. um and what are your what's your like summation of that a piece i see some graphs here as well okay, and i so understand that, that women are killing it in academia right now so but go ahead yeah yeah so that's actually a good example of the peer review system being uh, kind of rigged against men's issues that piece stems from an article that i did publish about exercise science degrees and it was just about the growth of the field just quantifying how many degrees are earned each year and i split the data by sex and women are now much more likely to earn a degree in exercise science than men. So in my published paper, I took a little bit of time in the discussion to point out that difference. And I said, you know, why is it that there's now like men have clearly plateaued in their interest in this field? No one seems to be really talking about it or concerned about it. And one of the peer reviewers of my paper was interested to know more about that. And so I used that for a full paragraph to explain things. And they were very open. And that was awesome. I got that published. But then what happened was a group of authors wrote a letter kind of challenging what I was saying. But basically what they were, what they were upset about was that I took that paragraph to talk about men's education. That's essentially what it was. Because they were saying, oh, well, what about women in STEM and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what, what are you talking about? What, this is just a paragraph about men's education. Why would you just one paragraph in like a longer piece? That's right. It, yep. And so, uh, in academia, uh, in academic publishing, when someone writes in a letter challenging, you then are given the chance to reply with your own letter. And what happens is the two letters get published side by side so that the readers can look at them. So the editor invited me to write a reply to the letter challenging mine, and the editor rejected my letter reply, which is absolutely unheard of in academic publishing. The reason, now that they'll say that there are various reasons um, that why it was not, uh, not published, but I came out and just said, in academia, we've got anti-male bias. We need to stop. And I laid out the argument and that's what my piece is. So because I couldn't publish that letter in the journal, I turned it into a sub 